My name is Julie Hall, and I am the Program Director for the Cardiovascular Technology Program. Our program is the only one of its kind in the state of Oklahoma and surrounding areas. We thank you for your interest in cardiovascular technology. As a CVT, or cardiovascular technologist, you would be working in a fast-paced teamwork environment with a physician, a nurse, and one or two other healthcare professionals in a cardiac cath lab at a major medical center. We take care of one patient at a time, performing invasive procedures. These procedures can include diagnostic procedures, placing stents in the heart and legs, electrophysiology studies with ablations, as well as implant devices for cardiac rhythm regulation. Catheter-based procedures have grown over the years, and we can now also assist in heart valve replacements. Applications for the program are due by February 1st to be considered for the next fall class. We typically select between 12 and 14 students based off clinical availability. During the five semester program, you will visit multiple hospitals for your clinical education portion. Clinical travel is expected for all students and can be up to a two hour drive from campus. Students will be responsible for transportation and lodging during their clinical travel. Students will sit for their registry exam during the last semester. The RCIS, Registered Cardiovascular Invasive Specialist, from CCI, Cardiovascular Credentialing International. Once you have successfully passed this exam, it will be recognized in the United States as well as internationally. If you are interested in learning more about cardiovascular technology and our program, please contact me at julie.hall5 at tulsacc.edu. Hello and welcome to the Dental Hygiene Clinic. My name is Rachel Osberg and I am the Program Director for the Dental Hygiene Program. I would like to first thank you for your interest in the Dental Hygiene Program. We are excited about your journey ahead and we look forward to partnering with you on your educational journey if you find that we are the best fit for you. As a dental hygiene student, you will graduate from our two-year program with an Associate of Applied Science degree. We are a full-time two-year program we are only at the Metro campus. Students cannot take dental hygiene classes anywhere else. And we are a very scriptive, sequenced program, meaning that you cannot pick and choose what classes you take and when you take them. They all flow in an order and they build on each other, so you have to take them in the order as set. As of right now, our um, application deadline is March 1st. Please note that that is subject to change in the future as the School of Allied Health is transitioning to a new application procedure. There are specific things that you can do to maximize your competitiveness to get into the dental hygiene program once you apply, to get that interview, secure your spot, and then ultimately get offered a position. We have on average about 150 applicants. We only interview the top 28 ish based on academic points alone and then we only accept 14 students as of right now so the competitiveness of the application process needs to be on the forefront of your mind. I do encourage you to use your favorite search engine to find out exactly what a dental hygienist does if you have no idea. If you've grown up in the dental community or the dental field or medical field then you might have a little bit of an idea but dental hygiene is such a diverse profession. Obviously, you can work in a clinic such as what you see behind me as a clinician, chair side, see patients day in and day out and clean their teeth. I promise you that is not all you do for those patients. But you can also be an educator, you can be a researcher, you can be a patient advocate, you can work in public health, you can be a sales rep. There are so many paths that you can go down as a dental hygienist. Thank you for your interest in the dental hygiene program. We are excited for your journey ahead. 
If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to someone at Tulsa Community College or in the dental hygiene program specifically. You can find all of the contact information on our dental hygiene program website. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jamie Oney. I am the vascular clinical coordinator of the Diagnostic Medical Sonography Program. Our classes and lab are held at the TCC Owasso campus, and our clinical rotations are in the Tulsa metro area and surrounding locations. So every year we typically get about 85 to 90 qualified applicants and we accept anywhere from 12 to 14 each year. So as you can tell it is a very competitive program and we have a little less than 20% um, that are accepted out of the qualified applicants. What does it take to get in the DMS program? Those accepted have a GPA of 3.5 or higher an ACT composite score of 23 or higher, and someone who displays professional skills. Characteristics of a successful DMS student is someone who has carried 12 or more credit hours in a semester, someone who is capable of juggling both schoolwork and life commitments, someone who has solid study skill habits, and someone who can receive constructive criticism and apply that um, to their scanning. Graduates of the program will earn an associate in applied science. They're eligible to set for the exam boards upon graduation of abdomen, OBGYN, and vascular. The starting salary of our graduates is $25 an hour, and they are eligible to work in doctor's offices, clinics, and hospitals. For more information about the Diagnostic Medical Sonography program, please visit our website at tulsacc.edu. This is Ruby Marshall with the Health Information Technology program. I'm one of three instructors there. We do the medical coding and billing. We have a reimbursement specialist certificate, coding and reimbursement specialist. Um, and we have an associate degree. Someone who wants to be in the healthcare field but doesn't want direct patient care, it, we're the behind the scenes people. So if you're that type of person, if you're meticulous, detail oriented, this is the field for you. All the places that our students are typically hired in are hospitals, home health, hospice, cancer registries, uh, software vendors, educators, our course has three practicums, two in the summers, each summer, for 16 weeks total, and one the second year spring for eight weeks total. And the practicums are professional practice experience where the students go out into the community and get hands-on patient uh, medical records care. To get into our program, it takes a 2.0 GPA, um, high school diploma, of course, or GED, our students undergo a rigorous background check and they do a writing sample. If applicable, there is a test of English proficiency. Also, to be admitted into the program, you'll be interviewed by our program director, Sandy Smith. Before entering into our program, it's advantageous to have completed your human anatomy and physiology, your medical terminology, English, and things like that. We have to pass all of our classes with a, three, with a C or above, C rate average or above. When you finish the coding certificate, you only have three or four more courses in order to get the associate degree, so most of our students go ahead and complete the associate degree program. Upon completion of our program, you can write for several credentials, the RHIT, Registered Health Information Technician, the CCS, Certified Coding Specialist, the CCSP, Certified Coding Specialist for Physicians Practices, or the CCA, the Certified Coding Associate. And these credentials are offered through our accrediting body, AHIMA, A-H-I-M-A, the American Health Information, the American Health Information Management Association. Our pass rate for the fiscal year of 2018 was 86% that passed the national exams. And for the first part of 2019, 100% 
of our students have passed the national exams. Our students can either enroll full-time or part-time. They have up to four years to finish the associate degree program and up to three years to finish the coding certificate program. Students can only repeat a course once and they can only repeat a maximum of two courses. Entry-level coders with no experience get paid thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars a year starting off. The deadline to apply to our program is May 1st. Please apply online. For more information on our Health Information Technology Program, please go to our website at tulsacc.edu. My name is Andrew England and I am the Program Director for the Medical Laboratory Technician Program, um, which is an AAS Associate Degree at Tulsa Community College and I'm also the Program Director of the Phlebotomy Certificate Program. So medical laboratory technicians are um, trained to work in uh, clinical laboratories which are mostly located at hospitals and reference labs. Um, the majority of our students um, go work for the St. Francis uh, health system in Tulsa, the Hillcrest Health System, the St. John Ascension Health System. Uh, we also do Stillwater um, and some Indian Health Services out of Claremore and out of Tahlequah. Um, we're primarily running laboratory testing um, to determine uh, disease or disease states. Uh, so most people are working, it's, it's a little bit more of a behind the scenes clinical um, job but we're still helping patients and 80% and, uh, to 85% of diagnoses are based off of laboratory results so it's very important to have well trained individuals in the laboratory. So our program is somewhat unique in that we are um, what we uh, have titled a one plus one program and that is that the very first year um, or the first two years, however long it takes you, you're getting your prerequisite coursework done. Um, that includes your Comp 1, your Comp 2, History, Government, uh, Biology course, General Chemistry course, Anatomy and Phys, the combined course or the separate courses in Microbiology. Then you're actually applying for the second year and once you're accepted into the MLT program for the second year, then the program is just one year after that. Our overall GPA requirements are a 2.0, a science GPA of a 2.4. We do not have a standardized test. We don't require ACT. The majority of our ranking is based off of your, um, in order of importance, your science GPA, an interview that has a writing portion, and then your overall GPA. We are accredited by um, NACLS, which is the um, National Accrediting Agency for Clinical Laboratory Science. Um, we are reviewed on three major criteria. That is graduation rate, uh, ASCP board pass rate, and job placement rate. Um, currently, our graduation rate sits at about a three-year level of about 90%. Our board pass rate is at a three-year level of about 98%. And our job placement rate for the last three years is 100%. Um, the job market right now is really strong. Um, there is about 1.5 jobs for every um, MLT student that's graduating on the conservative side. Once you um, graduate our program, you're automatically qualified to sit for the American Society for Clinical Pathology board exam, uh, which is a nat nationally recognized certification. It's not a state licensure, meaning that it's transferable to all 50 states. Uh, there are opportunities to go on to get a four-year certification, uh, which is the medical laboratory science um, through ASCP, um, and then there's even opportunities to get categoricals or specialties in certain areas in which each one of those will bring a substantial raise in pay. The uh, entry level pay um, is difficult because it's based off of hospitals. Most of ours start in at about $35,000 a year. Um, that is first ship base pay. If you have an advanced degree, that pay will generally go up. For more information, um, I would recommend that you go to our MLT uh, webpage at Tulsa Community College. Um, it has lots of good information. We have a good question and answer. It has the curriculum. It has all of our pass rates, which we are required by accreditation to post. Um, and so it has uh, the information for the program, but it also has my contact information on there. Uh, my email address, andrew.england at tulsacc.edu, and then my phone extension, which is 918-595-8667. Welcome to the Occupational Therapy Lab. My name is Penny Stack. I'm the Program Director for the Occupational Therapy System Program here at Tulsa Community College. So 
you're looking forward to applying to the OTA program, that's great. There are a few things you'll just need to keep in mind for a successful application. The minimum GPA is a 2.8. Minimum ACT that we're looking for is an 18. There are three prerequisite courses that you are required to have completed prior to the January, January 1 application deadline. That includes medical terminology, which is offered online or face-to-face -face on campus. It's offered fall, spring, and summer semester. There's also, a, there's also human anatomy and physiology, which is offered uh, fall, spring, summer semester as well. That is only offered face-to-face. -face. And then there's introduction to occupational therapy, which is offered online fall and spring quarter. There's a few other things that go into your application for consideration of acceptance, and that is an interview and a writing sample. And there have been many times I've seen where that writing sample and interview score has catapulted somebody to um, the top of the list to um, be accepted. So I really encourage you to apply. Had a range of uh, applications that have been completed anywhere from 80 to about 100, and we accept anywhere between 20 and 24 applicants each year. We we uh, application deadlines January 1. We typically will send out notice around mid March and have orientation about May, and then you would start in fall. As an occupational th therapy assistant, you would work as a member of a large healthcare team addressing the needs of your patient. We use an occupational therapy, occupation or meaningful activities to engage our clients back into the act of living. And whatever it is that they want to do is what we want to do with them. The Occupational Therapy Assistant Program degree is an Applied Associate of Science degree. Once you graduate from the program, then you are then eligible to sit for national boards. Once you sit for national boards, then you can apply to your state license to practice. Our board pass rate is on the average 100% and that's within the first year of graduation. And then you get your license and you go ahead and um, you go ahead and you're eligible for employment. We do have 100% employment. Many of our students, uh, uh, the biggest employers for our students are skilled nursing homes and pediatric outpatient clinics. So you're excited and you're ready to apply to the OTA program. We are excited and looking forward to your application. So what we need you to do is if you are not currently a TCC student, we need you to apply to TCC. If you already are a TCC student, then you can apply directly to the OTA program. Once you've applied to TCC, apply to the OTA program. When we receive your application, I will go ahead and send you a personal email, you, email welcoming you, letting you know of any additional information to make your process smoother. You are more than welcome to email me at any time with additional questions in the process. My email is penny.stack at tulsacc.edu. I'm really looking forward to seeing your application by January 1. I'm Teresa Foster. I'm the program director of the pharmacy technology program here at TCC. Pharmacy technicians can work in a variety of settings, anywhere from hospital, clinical uh, facilities that have pharmacies, nuclear pharmacy, infusion pharmacies, pediatric home health pharmacies. There's a lot of different settings that a lot of people don't realize when they get in pharmacy. Uh, a lot of people don't realize we make IVs. Our labs are set up um, as though it is real work environment. And we have three of those. We have the community pharmacy lab, we have the hospital lab, and we have the compounding lab. So we do, um, focus a lot on simulation and I think that's what makes us different than some of the other programs. Um, when I was in the hospital and I worked there for 16 years, I was amazed at how many pre-farm, pre-med, pre-nursing students came through and have never been in a pharmacy. So about 16 years ago I came up with this program and I think it's really a good thing for anyone who wants to be in the health field or even thinks they want to be in the health field because it gives them a good baseline on IVs, aseptic technique, uh, compounding. We have a unique uh, modernized program that's one semester and we really enjoy having the pre-pharmacy, pre pre-med and pre-nursing students that want some simulation hands-on before they go into th their career path. Um, we are two days a week, Mondays and Wednesdays from 9 to 320. We have 160 hours of outside rotation that we work around your schedule. 
It's also uh, able to roll over to the next semester. We have the pharmacy software that we used in live pharmacy collaborations with other programs. We have collaborated with dental hygiene, respiratory therapy, um, so we do that every semester. We do take 25 students, up to 25 students a semester. Our program goes through the same risk management as every other program, but we do not require the ACT. We do not have any prereqs. We do go through an interview process with a writing assignment. Applications are taken year round despite the deadlines. We have about a 94% uh, pass rate on our program and on, our, on the national certification. We are a PTCB Pharmacy Technology Education Council recognized program. We are getting ready to add a se second certification which would be IV uh, certification, sterile and non-sterile products. Once you become nationally certified, which is what we're working towards uh, through the semester, is you will have credentials and you can go out into the workforce immediately. Um, most of the partnerships that we have with the local hospitals um, will actually call me for jobs. Uh, we have a partnership with them that they hire our students. So um, we have about 30% of our students employed before the end of the semester. For more information, you can contact me at teresa.foster at tulsacc.edu or you can call me at 918-595-7005. Hello, my name is Melanie Heffington and I am the program director of the Physical Therapist Assistant Program here at TCC. We are excited that you are interested in the PTA program and I'm here to tell you a little bit more. Physical therapist assistants work under the supervision of a physical therapist for basically any problem that a person might have related to mobility loss or pain. Some of the settings that physical therapist assistants work in are hospitals, school settings, nursing homes, skilled nursing facilities, and outpatient clinics. Our PTA program here at TCC is a five semester program, 67 credit hours, that you graduate with an Associate of Applied Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. At the end of the program, you are eligible to sit for your nas national licensure exam for the physical therapist assistant. Our admissions process is a competitive selection process that utilizes the ACT, your cumulative GPA, an interview, a writing sample, and some observations. We admit 35 candidates each calendar year around April, and the students begin in August. In the Physical Therapist Assistant Program, we utilize clinical education as well as classroom learning. We utilize the Nate Waters Physical Therapy Clinic that's on the Metro campus of TCC, where our students in the Physical Therapist Assistant Program work with patients of all age ranges from the beginning of their program time with us to the end of their program time. In addition to the time at the Nate Waters Physical Therapy Clinic, our students go out into the community and perform clinical education in area hospitals, skilled nursing facilities, school settings, and outpatient clinics. The average starting salary for a physical therapist assistant in the Oklahoma area is $42,000 a year. To increase the competitiveness of your application, my suggestion is to either call or contact me or a TCC Health Sciences Advisor. You can contact me at 918-595-3423 or by email at melanie.heffington at tulsacc.edu. Hi, my name is Lori McMichael. I'm the program director for the Tulsa Community College Radiography Program. I'm so glad you're considering the pursuit of a career in the field of radiology. It's an interesting field with many options upon graduation. Upon successful completion of our program, you will receive an associate's degree in applied sciences with an emphasis in radiography. You will also be qualified to sit for the National Registry administered by our governing body, the ARRT, or American Registry of Radiologic Technologists. Registry with the ARRT qualifies you to work at hospitals and clinics anywhere in the United States. Many of our graduates continue on the job training in imaging speciali specialties such as CT, MRI, mammography, heart cath lab, and special procedures. Radiographers are considered assistants to radiologists. Radiologists are medical doctors who specialize in the field of radiology. It's the responsibility of our graduates, the radiographers, to take high quality images that help in the diagnosis of traumatic injury and diseases. Radiographers take the images and the radiologists interpret them. 
TCC is one of two local accredited schools that provide training in becoming a radi radiographer. Our program graduates approximately 30 students per year with a 100% placement rate. That means that all of our graduates who complete our program pass the ARRT registry and seek jobs are finding them. Starting pay for area graduates is between $19 and $22 an hour. Many hospitals hire our students as student techs during their second year of school. Working as a paid student tech often leads to future job opportunities. Training in our program includes in-class lectures, hands-on labs, and about 1,400 hours of unpaid on-site clinical work at one of our seven contracted hospital locations. Five of our clinical sites are in Tulsa and two are in Claremore. Clinical sites are awarded to students on a first-come, first-served basis after being accepted into our program. So how do you get accepted into our program? Our program, like other TCC Allied Health programs, is very competitive. Last year, we accepted 30 students out of 180 applicants. Here's what increases your chances of getting into the program. A composite ACT of 22 or higher. The average ACT for our most recent class was 23.5. A grade point average of 3.3 or higher. The average GPA for our most recent class was 3.5. Complete up to seven of the general ed courses required for our degree prior to applying to our program. Radiography is considered a full-time program, even without taking the gen eds at the same time. So the more gen ed courses you can complete before you apply, the better. Also complete anatomy and physiology prior to application. Application deadline is February 1st. Only courses completed prior to the deadline will be included in your ranking score. I hope this information helps you decide if this career is for you. If you have further questions about our program, please feel free to email me. I hope to see you in our future classes and wish you the best in whatever you choose to pursue. Hi, my name is Beth Tenney. I'm the program director for the respiratory care program. So you're interested in respiratory therapy. Let me tell you just a little bit about what we do and what's required to be in our program. One of the things that we do is we work alongside nurses and doctors in providing uh, health care to adults and children from birth until old age. We work in high stress situations where we're at the bedside of someone that is in full cardiac arrest. Uh, we're alongside the nurses and the doctors in most primary care of our patients. We provide breathing treatments, oxygen, medications, different therapies that allow someone to uh, have better breath. The breath of life is what we call it. We save lives. And if you're interested in healthcare, if you're interested in being on the forefront of working with patients, this is the program for you. So what's required to be in this program? We require that you have a GPA average at least 2.5. The higher, the better. The more math and science courses that you've had, the better. We do a lot of math and science in this program, and you will in your career in healthcare. So this would be a great opportunity for you if you take those classes before you enter the program. We also um, use ACT scores. So if you've had your ACT scores within the last five years and they are good scores averaging anywhere from 20 and above, that would be ideal candidate for us. If you've had ACT scores that you took 10, 15 years ago, you come down to the Northeast campus where you can take the ACT again and improve those scores and get you more up to date with what's going on. Then, once you're in our program and you're selected, you have five semesters that you will go through. You will do clinical rotations between the second semester and the fifth semester where you will be required to travel. You will need to travel sometimes up to an hour and a half, maybe two hours, um, around the community. We go to Bartlesville, Tahlequah, Muskogee. We go out to Sepulpa. We go to various hospitals and we also go to uh, seminars in Oklahoma City. So you may have to travel there. Um, you would be attending Monday through Friday, uh, anywhere from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, hours will vary per semester. Um, and you may only come four days a week, but the days may vary also. We may also do a few things with other healthcare professionals here, um, such as nursing students, the PTA students, 
farm tech program, we do a lot of collaboration as well as in the hospital, you will see teamwork and, and collaboration going on and we want you to be part of that team. So if this is a program that you think that you could be a part of, come and talk to us, see us, fill out the application for our program, and we will be glad to talk to you and try to interest you because we save lives on a daily basis. Come and be a part of that profession. Be a part of our career. Respiratory therapy, it's where it's happening. For more information, please contact Beth Tenney at beth.tenney, that's T-E-N-N-E-Y, at tulsacc.edu or you may contact the School of Allied Health here on the Metro campus and that would be room uh, MP458. Hello and welcome to the Veterinary Technology Program. This is a nursing program for animals. Large animals, which are horses, cattle, sheep, pigs, and goats. Small animals, which are dogs and cats. And exotic and laboratory animals, rabbits, guinea pigs, lizards, tortoises, and fish. This is a degree program. You will earn an Associate of Applied Science degree. We offer both a full-time and a part-time curriculum program. Part-time is for those students who are working more than 25 hours per week or have other obligations that prevent them from being a full-time student. Full-time students complete the program in five semesters and part-time students complete in seven semesters. Prerequisites for the program include 23 to 24 hours of science and math courses. You must have a grade of C or better in all your science and math courses to be accepted into the program. This uh, biology courses must be completed within 12 years of your application date. Our pass rate for the program is 88%. The national pass rate is less than 70%. Careers that you'll have are involve private practice in small animal and large animal, working with horses and cattle or dogs and cats. There are also private and public research, working with laboratory animals. You also work in zoos and with exotic animals and rescues and the military is also an excellent career. This is a competitive admissions program. Applications are due April 30th every year. We accept 30 students per academic year. They start once each fall. Please contact the Veterinary Technology Program for more information.